For centuries, religious pilgrimages were important for many people in Wales. They made them out of obvious religious devotion, or perhaps they wanted to be cured of an ailment or disease. And one of those pilgrimages is being promoted today. It is the Penrhys Pilgrimage Way, and it begins here in Llandaff, Cardiff. This wide pathway leading from the cathedral is known as Far the Meru, the Road of the Dead, presumably because it was once used for funeral processions. On the path towards Radda, you'll be alongside the Hermit Woods. They call that because, according to writing of about 900 years ago, a hermit called Tillaway lived right here. Uh, it may well be a true story. In any event, it's lived on a long time.
it's late March and it was sunny when I left the house but it's eight degrees and a very windy day it was definitely a mistake to put my shorts on This path is alongside a busy road. It's the base of the Rusaisen Iron Age hill fort. It's a magnificent site, very large, and a few thousand years ago, hundreds of people must have been living there. If you've got the time and the energy, it's well worth climbing up to have a look. I'm not far from Plantrisen, but I feel as though I'm deep in the countryside. All around me here is natural woodland, uh, no people, uh, no houses nearby, and there's no sound of traffic in the distance. It's very pleasant indeed. This is the path above Tonnerev Isle, and according to the pilgrimage website, it was once part of the Manor of Morton, which was owned by the Knights of the Order of St. John of Jerusalem. I grew up in Tonnerev, and I never knew that. Ascending the hillside from Dinas is the most challenging part of the walk so far. There are plenty of steps to encounter and the hillside paths are very steep, but of course you can do that as uh, quickly or as slowly as you wish and it certainly is good exercise. Thank you. 
So the pilgrimage is over for me. I'm at the uh, Shrine to the Virgin Mary at Penrhys. It's not the original one that was taken away a long, long time ago. I'm not at all religious. I just wanted to experience this long walk. I did the 21 miles of it, or 34 kilometers if you prefer, in three sections. The surprise to me was that uh, now in this day and age, there is still so much greenery and open area to enjoy. Along the way, some of the views have been absolutely spectacular. Take a look at the pilgrimage website for a lot of information about this walk. I'd have no hesitation whatsoever in recommending it. I thoroughly enjoyed it.